I think I went overboard designing it. I mean, with the chains and the headband and and uh, I, I think I, I was overselling it. I'm Mike Avila with Sci-Fi Wire. And I don't like to use the term legend too often because sometimes it can be overused. But in this case, it's perfectly deserved. I'm here with the legendary comic book artist, John Romita Sr., Jazzy John Romita, if you don't mind me calling you the jazzy one. No, no. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Oh, it's a pleasure. You had a hand in, in, in creating and designing the look of several really important characters in the Marvel Universe. Um, Luke Cage. A character who was created, I believe, in 1973, and now he's bigger than ever. Have you seen the TV show? No, you know. You should see it. There's one scene in there that plays homage to the original costume. No kidding. That's great. I'm but, glad they changed it, though. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but this is a character that 40 years later is, is bigger than ever. What do you think, look, looking back on it, that you helped create that character and the, and the, the design of that character back then? What actually, are your thoughts on that? Actually, I got mixed emotions on it. I think I went overboard designing it. I mean, with the chains and the headband, and, and uh, I think I, I was overselling it. I, especially too much slavery, uh, sm smell of slavery in there. It was, it was stupid of me. And I, I was hoping that it was either succeed uh, or fail, or somebody would change it, because I used to feel embarrassed of it. I I thought I overdid overdid it, and yet you could make a point that that may have been what made it memorable. I don't know. Maybe I didn't do it too much. I thought I overdid it, but the fact is that it was an embarrassment for a moment. But the fact that it lasted and became popular satisfied me. And I was, okay, I gave it a push, and now, now the motor is running and I don't have to worry about it anymore.